Green Tractors is a full-service dealer for John Deere equipment in Ontario. We currently have six dealership locations across the province and have a team dedicated to John Deere integrated solutions and farm site products. Our Green Tractors integrated solutions department is managed from our Omimi location and we pride ourselves in being your go-to resource for everything precision farming. To support our customers, we will be adding a series of video tutorials demonstrating helpful tips and information on how to use John Deere farm site products. In this video, we're going to walk you through setting up home page layouts. And we're going to grab a John Deere 8285R tractor here, which happens to have a, a GS32630 touchscreen in it, as well as the GS3 command center. Both of these displays have what's called Layout Manager, and that lets you program some favorite home screens. So it lets you customize the layout on the screen. And when you hit the, the little house uh, icon, it lets you flip through your favorite program screens. So to do this, we want to, um, we want to be able to pull up the main menu. So that in the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice an up arrow with some blocks. That's the main menu button. It always takes you to the main menu. We press that. And we want to select option G, which is Layout Manager. That's where we actually can uh, specify what we want on our home pages. And if you take a look at this Layout Manager configuration screen, in the upper left hand corner, there's a pull down menu which gives you five uh, options pages one through five. We want to program page one, so we select page one. And we want to make sure there's a check mark in the Include in Homepage Collection option. That'll allow them to be enabled or disabled. So now we want to select the style of screen that we want. So we'll select option F because what I want to do is set up a driving screen and an auto track information screen all at the same time. To actually specify what we're going to uh, put in the Layout Manager screen, select the large area of the screen. Now that gives us three options here and what we want to do is go into GS3 and now you'll notice there's a, a couple arrows at the bottom of the screen. That lets us flip through all the uh, options for this particular area of the screen. Now we found an actual parallel tracking screen and that's what I want on there. So I press on that and now you'll notice it's populated in that area. So all that's left now is the right hand region of the screen. So I'm going to select that. And once again, we go GS3. And we use the arrow keys again and just keep flipping through until we find something that we like, like something we want there. So I'll go back in there again, right hand region of the screen, select it, and GS3. And we arrow through. So what I want is some client farm and field and some auto track information is what I'm looking for. And there we go there. I really like that one right there. So I'm going to press on it. And there we go. There's our, there's our driving screen. So we're showing client farm and field and parallel tracking all on the same screen. What I want to do now is set up page two. So I select page two. I want something like F. So we're going to select option F again. And what I want to do now is actually have like an original green star display uh, page. So we select original green star display. And you're kind of asking yourself, well, what would you use this for? You'd use this for like a, a, if you had a corn planter, like an original Seed Star 1 corn planter attached to the tractor. Uh, we'll do the right hand region, which GS3 again. And, and this, uh, this area, what I want to do is put in some uh, parallel tracking information. So that would let us see like an old Seed Star corn planter and do parallel tracking and auto track all on the same screen all at the same time. So now we want to select and configure page three. We want something with a bunch of screen sections. So let's select option H. And option H lets us uh, configure uh, four different areas of the screen. We'll do the upper uh, larger area there. And what I want to do, we'll go GS3 again, and I'll put in some parallel tracking information, some driving information. So we scroll through until we find a page like this which shows parallel tracking. Uh, the lower uh, left hand region um, we'll put in some uh, maybe some client farm and field or auto track information so we scroll through until we find a page that we like. 
and I'm sort of thinking that one there uh, should do the trick. So we've got some auto track info and farm and field. Uh, now I want to put in a video camera screen. So we select the uh, middle region there and we select this video option and it just gives us one option to select there so we'll select that and now we have our video camera in the center of the screen there's just one region left to configure it's the right hand region this time we'll select performance monitor because what I want to do is put in some tractor information so once again you just scroll through until you find a page that actually shows the information you want it to show and um, and we're gonna select it so I think the next one there that one right there We'll select that area and it populates the screen and there you go. That is exactly how we want our screen configured. So now we want to make sure that there is a check mark in the checkbox on the three pages that we want. And this sort of a uh, configuration I'm setting up, it's a three page uh, layout. And you'll see now when we hit the house button in the bottom right hand corner, it will scroll through our three program screens. So we have a good driving screen, we've got our Seedstar 1 uh, original Green Star screen, and then we have our screen that's got the video camera on it. It's a real handy thing to set up so that you never get lost in your menus. Uh, if you ever get lost in any of the Green Star menus, you just hit that uh, that help, house button and it takes you right back to your programmed home screen. Thank you for watching our video. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel Green Tractors Farm Site and follow us on Twitter at FarmSiteMe. For upcoming videos and information on clinics and events, visit any of our six locations and see what John Deere products and services we can offer you. Contact us for any questions regarding precision farming or egg management solutions.